In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily make a contact form with email notifications in Kartra. Hi everyone, it's Kevin from Solopreneur and I want to show you how you can make a contact form in Kartra. This is a beginner tutorial. Now, I know what you're thinking, really, do we have to make a video about this? But this was a challenge I personally had and I had to figure out how to do this. So Kartra is really intuitive in some areas and sometimes there's some simple stuff that isn't as easy as you would hope it would be where it's all built into one place. So strangely enough, making a contact form is something that requires a few different steps and I had to figure this out for myself. So I figured, hey, there's probably a lot of people using Kartra that are wondering this exact same thing. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so we begin by going to the Kartra dashboard where I am now. So the first thing you need to do is create a thank you page. I know you're wondering, wait, what? Why am I creating a thank you page first? Just go with me here. A lot of things in Kartra are built in a way that you need to have all the dependencies and things build on top of things. So this will save us from having to just build the form and have this part configured later and come back. So very simple though. So we just go to add a new page. We go to pages, we go add a new page, we choose a thank you page. Now you can create any kind of thank you page here, just like anything else in Kartra. Uh, you can just select it and start editing for the sake of time I'll just show you how the page I've created already so I just picked one of those simple templates and I've just made a super simple thank you page just my logo thank you your message is received we'll be in touch with you shortly okay so once you've saved that page and published it like you would with any other page you go to action publish now we can actually head over to our forms so what we're gonna do is we're going to create a contact form so I'm going to actually work with the one I already have to, for the sake of time. So we just go to create form and then what you'll be presented with a menu like this. So you can see here, first name, last name, and email. These are the standard forms. In fact, I think last name was one I added. So you'll see first name. You can add something like last name by adding a field, right? So you can go here and you can choose any of the predefined fields. But strangely, you'll notice having an option to create a message is not a field. So in many ways, Kartra doesn't actually have out of the box in a way, a contact form. You actually have to build this yourself. Thankfully, it's not too hard and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So what you wanna do is you wanna go new field and you wanna select a custom field and you wanna call it something like message and you maybe wanna do a text input and you can say, what are you contacting us about? And you can hit mandatory. This is gonna be the internal name, right? The coding name and we're gonna use that in the future. I've already built this so I'll show you guys exactly what that looks like. Message, there, there, there. So now we have our thank you form, we have that step done. Now we go to save. So we go to save and next confirmation. So single or double opt-in, what you want to do is you want single opt-in. You can have double opt-in if you want, but you know, it's probably going to tank your conversions unless you really need it for compliance reasons. Success page. Now this is where that thank you page comes in. So if we didn't create it ahead of time, we would have had to go to configure later, go back and create it and come back here. So I just saved you guys a step. So pick your thank you page you just made and you just hit save. And so now we have our thank you page and then we have a welcome message. We don't need this. You can do it if you like, but um, you know, you could do an automation where you send someone an email saying, oh, I'll be in touch with you shortly. But personally, I just haven't done it. And you, you know, it's, it's optional and I, I haven't done it. Automations, again, this is optional. I've set a tag so I can keep track of who's reached out to me and I assigned this tag contacted. But again, not required. You can just have it on don't assign any tag. Right, so this is a little bit more advanced if you want. And you know, all of this stuff not required. Next, form design, don't need any of this. You know, I'm gonna assume that you're using this within Kartra, so we can just keep this off. Um, if you're embedding it, then you'll use the other embed option. But again, we're going with a simple example here, so we're gonna keep it there. I will use a form in another Kartra asset, save. No big deal there and finish. That's it. So now we have our contact form. The next step is to make sure we can be notified when someone fills in this form. So to do that, you go to this and you go to your avatar and you go to email notifications. Then you go to to your team. So you can see here is not very intuitive. So I had to figure all of this out. So, um, you know, but once you get it, you realize kind of how Kartra works, not a big deal. So then you want to go down to the one that says lead fills in an opt-in form. Now, 
what you want to do is you want to very specifically select the form you want. So you want to go in here and now we've created that contact form. So we're going to call it like contact form and then we're going to pick ourselves or whoever, whichever team member you want. So by default, it's going to just email you everyone, every single form. So even if someone subscribes to a newsletter or what are your flows or your funnels? You don't want that, right? You want specifically just a contact form. So make sure you select that here. So that's the first thing. Next, you don't need to do advanced and get a fancy layout because this is just going to you. So by default, you're going to have these three. You're going to have opt-in name, lead name, and email lead. Now, this field will not be here. So I'm going to show you how I did that. So what you want to do is you want to go down all the way here. Then you want to go to custom fields and you want to find your custom field. And then we do that because we need this internal string. So we know, now know the internal nomenclature is curly brackets, a message and curly brackets. So then what we do is we simply just add that in. We can say anything we like. And as long as we have this curly brackets, this, then Kartra will include that. So whatever your custom field is, you can get the internal name and you can edit this to add as many custom fields as you want. Now, again, something not so intuitive and weird. There is no option to save. You actually just hit edit and that's what saves. Weird, I know. But actually, by the way, before you do that, you can actually send yourself a test message if you like. I recommend you do that. Make sure that your fields are going as intended. So now we've done all of that and we hit edit and that's going to actually do that. Now, the last thing is you have to make sure that this is checked here. Okay, so, so far we've built the form and we are set up to get the email notifications. Now, how do we use our form? So show you guys a simple example here. Let's say we go to one of your pages and I'm gonna go to one of my blog pages here and show you guys really simple. So now you can use that in anywhere. If you have an existing contact form, of course you can go and swap it out to the new form that we made if you'd like right we can go and we go to the contact form or if you like you can use it as a link if you go here to contact for example let's say I want to make this text into a link you can go to link here and then what you would do is you would go to pop an opt-in form and then you would select one of the designs as I've done here you would edit it, you can, as I've done here, you know, have a question, get in touch, fill in your stuff. And then in configure form, you would select the form you just did. And then of course you would hit done and then you would publish the page. And I wanna show you guys what this page looks like. So as you guys can see here, you go to contact, it pops up beautifully and this is the form we just made. Now, the final thing I wanna show you guys is where can you see all of these responses? So yes, you will get an email with these responses, but what if you wanna go back and you wanna check all of these responses? The way you do that is you would actually have to find the contacts themselves. You would go to analytics and then you would find the person who filled that in and then you would click on it. So this is all the people who did that and then you would see this person. So then you could see the fields that they've filled in and you would see their custom field down here. So that's how you saw what this person would have filled in. Just in case you've lost the email or you need to refer back to it or for whatever reason. So that's it guys. Really quick tutorial on how you use the contact forms feature of Kartra. It's not as intuitive as I would have liked, but once you kind of get a sense of how it all comes together, it's not that bad. So if you found this video helpful, please give me a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want more tips on marketing automation, digital marketing, Kartra, and so much more entrepreneurship. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.